at a video game arcade in 1982 with his friend Will Cooper. 13-year-old Sam Brenner discovers he can master the games by spotting patterns. Participating in a video game championship, he loses in a match with obnoxious arcade player Ready the Fire Blaster Plant in Donkey Kong. A video cassette with footage of the event is included in a time capsule that is launched into space. In the present day, Brenner has become an installer of home theater systems while Cooper is the disliked president of the United States. In Guam, a U.S. military base is besieged by an extraterrestrial force attacking in the form of Gallagher that turn pieces of the base into small glowing cubes and one of the soldiers is abducted. Brenner works at the home of Divorcee and U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Violet Van Patten, but the two are separately summoned to the White House. Upon seeing the video footage and meeting with Ludlow the Wonder Kid Lamasoff, a friend he made at the video game tournament, Brenner determines the aliens have found the video cassette images to be a declaration of war and are attacking with technology based on the games featured at the championship. This is affirmed when the aliens interrupt a television broadcast using footage from the cassette, challenging Earth to a battle where if the aliens win three rounds, they will conquer Earth. Brenner and Cooper are unable to stop one of the attacks as Arkanoid paddles sling balls of light to destroy the Taj Mahal, and a bystander is abducted. Brenner and Ludlow train Navy SEALs to play the old games. Violet develops light cannons that are effective against the aliens. In London, the aliens, after declaring it as the Where's the Beef? Lady, attack Hyde Park in the form of the video game Centipede, but as the soldiers are unable to beat them, Brenner and Ludlow step in and shoot them down. Following the victory, the aliens send congratulations and a trophy in the form of the dog from Duck Hunt to an old woman who appeared earlier at the London attack. Ludlow and Cooper retrieve Eddie, who had been serving a prison sentence for fraud. In New York City, the team discovers it must participate as the ghosts against Pac-Man. Toru Iwatani, the creator of Pac-Man, tries to confront him, but he gets his hand bitten off and flees. Using modified Mini Cooper cars, Brenner, Ludlow, and Eddie overcome the task, but Violet notices that something about Eddie is off, as he moved at supersonic speeds around the board. They win Cubet as a trophy. Later during a celebratory party however, the aliens declare that someone cheated and the challenge for the planet has been forfeited. Violet's son, Matty, discovers Eddie as the perpetrator, having used a speed cheat. Eddie flees while Matty is abducted by the aliens. The aliens launch a massive attack using characters from all sorts of classic video games in Washington DC. Cooper joins the team, while Ludlow stays to fight. An alien takes the form of Lady Lisa, a character on whom Ludlow had a crush since childhood. Ludlow persuades Lady Lisa to choose love, and she sides with the humans. Eddie, wishing to make amends, returns to fight as well. Brenner, Violet, and Cooper are summoned to the alien's mothership where they face the alien leader who takes the form of Donkey Kong on the game's starting level with the alien's captives at the top. As the group dodges barrels and fireballs, Brenner feels depressed and loses hope until Matty reveals Eddie's cheating to him, thus restoring his confidence, and Brenner eventually throws a hammer to defeat Donkey Kong. The aliens' characters then self-destruct. The team is hailed as heroes and a peace agreement is reached with the aliens. Eddie apologizes to Brenner for his cheating, and although Ludlow is saddened that Lady Lisa is gone, Cubert transforms its likeness to Lady Lisa. Brenner and Violet become a couple while Eddie gets to meet Serena Williams and Martha Stewart. The aliens also restore Iwadani's hand before their departure. A year later, Lady Lisa and Ludlow get married and have Cuba children.